New this morning, a man fearing for his life crashes into a pole. It happened just before 3.30 this morning on West Grand and Meredith Avenue in Dayton. ABC 22's Amber Jayanth is on the scene right now and tells us why police say that man was lucky he wasn't seriously hurt. Amber? Good morning. Well, that man who crashed said that he was trying to get away from another man that was shooting at him, and that's when he crashed right here on Grand Avenue into this utility pole, and you can see crews were out here. They already kind of cut up that pole there, but when, you know, the officers arrived, there were 10 to 15 bullet holes in his car, and so, you know, again, that's why officers say that he was so lucky to escape. Now, this is how the area looked right after the crash. Police tell us that that chase started on the 2600 block of North Main, and that man who crashed says that you know the car pulled up behind him, turned out his headlights, and started firing shots, and then started following him. And that driver was able to get away from that shooter around Broadway and Grand, but lost control shortly after, slamming into the pole. Now, fortunately, he was able to walk away from his crash without seriously being hurt. He's got a small laceration to his lip. Um, very lucky uh, not to receive any gunshots. Um, based on how the how the vehicle looks. Now immediately after the crash, that driver did run off. He did come back to the scene with his girlfriend while police were doing their investigation. But he told police that he was not able to get a good look at that shooter and doesn't know why anyone would be following him, shooting at him. And right now, police are still looking for that shooter. However, they do not have a description of him or the car he was in. And back out here on the scene, you know, the wires that were connected to this DPNL pole were told that they are for a street light. So fortunately, after this crash, no residents lost any power. And coming up in the next half hour, I'll tell you more on why police do not think this was a random shooting. For now, reporting live in Dayton, Amber Jayant, ABC 22.